Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors, and today we're going to take a look at a pretty affordable folding arm drone. They call this the Folding Man Wi-Fi FPV, or the F12W Ready to Fly. We'll have this linked in the description box below, but we're going to try something different in this video. We're going to fly this first, and then, if it's good enough, and you're still interested in it, we'll take a look at all the parts that come inside the box at the end of the video. So let's fly. Right, we're going to start filming. The nice thing is we have a little indicator on our screen tells us that we are filming. The bad side is uh, Abby's phone doesn't fit in the transmitter so I'm going to have to set it down while we fly. We do have a start land button so I'm just going to hit start. And I think it'll have an auto takeoff, but maybe not. Nope, so I'm just going to push up. Alright, it sounds a little funny. It sounds like we got a little bit of vibration going on. I'll fly a little closer so you can hear it. Mostly quiet though. It's not bad. Not bad. Let's get a look at the front of the drone here. It's got really cool looking red eyes on there. Camera probably doesn't do much justice for it. Maybe there? They look pretty cool though. Let's fly around a little bit. We have red lights on the front for those eyes and dim blue lights on the back, but the red stand out even in the day like this. So this is an altitude hold quad cup. It is, yeah. So my thumb on my left stick, I'm not even touching it right now. Uh, we do have some major signal interference going on here though. It was really jittering around a lot out there and we weren't even very far away. Let's try higher rates. Okay, so we've got a light breeze going on. I'll show you the breeze here. I'll just let it hover and I'll show you how far away it's gonna push the drone on its own. So that's the amount of wind that we have. Let's see, just zip around. It's a pretty docile drone. We'll go above the tree line. Maybe it'll stand out a little better. Yep. <laughs> Let's see how, okay, so I've lost total control right there for about two to three solid seconds. And that's because we're getting 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi signal interference. Happens a lot of the times on these toy grade FPV drones. Now this comes in under $40, so I'm not surprised to see that happening. I keep losing signal on this. I just lost it again there. This one's pretty bad about that. Let's try to test the features a little closer. I wanna do a flip. Really not a bad flip. And let's do one more if I can get my controls back. It's really, really losing controls. It totally landed itself right there because that interference is so bad. Abby asked, well, could we just turn the phone off? And then, you know, we wouldn't get the interference. But something to remember is these drones still have, they still emit their own Wi-Fi signal, even, even if you don't have your phone on and connected. So, unfortunately, no, that won't help anything. Let me go ahead and try one more flip. Not a bad flip, but we lost all of our altitude there. Let's go to the highest rates. And I just keep losing control on this. Very hard to recommend when you really cannot control the drone. And I'll tell you what, we have featured other folding arm drones that are relatively the same price. One Maybe, was just a couple weeks ago. Yes, and it was about $10 more than this. I'll have it carted on the screen sometime throughout this video, and uh, we'll try to remember to put it in the description box too. Maybe even at the end of this video. And at the end of the video. Um, and you're right, it was an absolutely perfect drone for like 10 more dollars than this. Folding arm does the same thing as this, but it and didn't. You just turned off the video camera, right? You don't, you're not even filming. I am filming right now, yeah. Uh, the, the weird thing about this, if you look at your phone down there, the camera right now is pointing straight down, I think. Uh, the farthest this camera can angle up is... So that's as far as it will angle up. And then that's angled straight down. I don't know why you would want that angle. It's almost like they installed the camera, uh, you know, poorly. I don't even want to do a transmitter off test with this because I just know that it's going to lose the signal and it could potentially fly away. Um, I think the safe thing to do is going to be to land this one and just recommend another drone. I'm totally unable to control this. It has so much Wi-Fi. Have you tried to put it in a higher rate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was actually the highest rate. And now being in the highest rate, what will happen is it'll get stuck going fast uh, the direction that I don't want it to go. Like there it's locked in and now I tried to, no, it's, it's, it got stuck going up. 
So it gets uh, kind of has a mind of its own. It gets stuck going in one direction and you have to wait two or three seconds before you can tell it to go somewhere else. I think I'm just gonna land this one. Do the auto landing. messed up that. <laughs> you do get four prop guards. We opted out of those just to help increase our controllability and flight time. What? Didn't help the controllability. No, not at all. Controllability. <laughs> that's a <US> word. <laughs> it is controllability, right? I think it is. The Here's ability our... to control the drone. That's it. There's our USB charger. It took about 45 minutes to charge this. We only get two spare props with this, but we do have a screwdriver and spare screws in there to hold those props on. Here is the phone clip for this. It is not big enough to hold Abby's phone, so we didn't even try, but it is pretty good size. It holds most average size phones. And then I wanted to show you the transmitter because it's actually a pretty nice transmitter. It operates on four double A's. We do have altitude hold. I like the bright orange. It has the labels which are probably the best feature of this. It has a um, start, land, label. Here's our headless mode, return to home, picture and video. I love that it's labeled. We even have an emergency stop button over here and they've separated it from all the other controls. So it's a really good layout. I really do like that. And then to install that phone holder, you just take that clip out and put the other clip in to hold it. So it's optional and it feels really good in your hands. It's actually a great transmitter. The drone itself, I want to show you it folding up because that's actually a pretty good feature too. Uh, I like how the landing gear do this. They're kind of flexible plastic. You pull those tabs out and then you fold those over. And uh, so even the landing gear folds up. On the top, we have little buttons. You just press the button and it folds in. They all fold clockwise. So that's kind of a neat way to do that too. And the battery down here, is right in this little compartment on the bottom back end of the drone and it is a single cell that's 3.7 volts 500 milliamp lipo battery it's a common connector which is nice they didn't make it proprietary but as we were saying this is definitely one to pass on so what abby was saying we have these cards linked throughout the video there are those little circle things that pop up and go across the screen uh, those will be recommended things in this price point and even in the description box below We'll try to remember to link our favorite folding arm drone and we just had that on the channel a week or two ago So here you go saving you some money and recommending stuff that is better than what we're actually showing you. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video Bye